So I'm not rushing, spaced out swag, best believe I'm paper touching Super stupid flow, and you bitches can't tell them nothing UFO, uniquely flying, outstanding All I speak is cash, I see why you don't understand UFO, uniquely flying, outstanding All I speak is cash, I see why you don't understand me Got a sense for drama, so I always keep the cannon This is the invasion, so watch out for our landing Standing Tall, never too far Spring and summer fashion, bro, I get it in the fall Y'all about to start hating and I don't mind at all I'm a thriller like MJ and my flow is off the wall Who that? Who that? They not from round here It's gotta be my imagination I think it's a new face I think it's a new face I think it's a new face They not from round here Welcome to the Who That Podcast, the livest podcast this side of the Mississippi and the Nile River, the livest podcast this side of the universe. <laughs> we on the mothership, bitch. <laughs> What's up? As always, this is B. How you doing? We got the Captain Paco. What's up? What's up? And we have a special guest. Uh, we have abducted another Earthling to come visit us up on the mothership this week. <laughs> we have Dej. I'm going to go by your Instagram. Dej the Don. I like used to it. die. I like that. Yeah, yeah. So how you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you guys? We're good. We're good. Thank you for coming to visit us. Yeah, thank you for having me. This your first time being on the pod? It is. All right. But All I've right. always wanted to, you know? Like, I, my bad. <laughs> yeah, let me stretch you back. Right. I'm, like, I'm, I'm going to be moving back and stuff. Okay. I mean, yeah, this is my first time being on the podcast. So I, I want to do one, though. Yeah. Okay. What, what would your podcast be about? It would just be about like everything like i like to talk i like yeah. to talk shit too you know what i'm saying yeah and then like i don't know i would, I would want to talk about all kinds of things i would want to talk talk about like i don't know what just happened i think you probably <laughs> have like a, a money show like you know what you like, mean like female entrepreneurs or like i mean that sounds cool like that. too but i would just want to talk about all kinds of things though like not just one thing like i would want to talk about like you know, mental 
Yeah. And mental yeah. awareness, you know, like mental health. Mental health, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Mental health and okay. all that stuff. Or yeah, I want to get deep and stuff and do shit like that. Ooh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, you want to talk about entrepreneurship and stuff like that. You said, uh, tell tell the world what you do. Well, um, I do makeup. I do lashes. I'm getting into um, microblading. So, like, what's microblading? It's like basically like eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Like, girl, you know how Is that with the, 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 the blade? It's like a permanent. It's like not a permanent, but like a temp. It is a permanent tattoo, you know, because you do gotta keep up with it, you know. Mm. But it's like, yeah, it's like basically like tattooing the the hairs. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And just arching it, and it's just. So what's the what's that thing where it look like they sewing? Like like it look like they plucking? Like they. What you mean? Like they be having like, no, they be having like a the thread. Yeah, yeah. Oh like yeah, threading. Thing. Yeah, that thread is yeah. like thread. Yeah, I love threading. What is? Like Throw that's that all I do. I don't I, like I saw waxing. A video. Not. That's our video. He's like, what is you said? So <laughs> this white lady and her mom went and got it, and like they, they it hurts. Yeah, that's what they say. They're like, it's so funny. It does. It does. <laughs> but and I'm used to drop it. their eyebrows. They're just like, <laughs> it hurts. It really does. Okay, I thought that's what the micro thing was, but that's a whole. No, that's thing. like part of it. I mean, no, I mean that's just you know like just getting them done, getting them arched and cleaned and everything. You know how people like. They get waxed, threaded. Mm. Some people plug. Right. You know, like. Yeah. I'm so bad. I'm but microblading <laughs> is like literally, it's like a tattoo of the eyebrow. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's some money. So what does that run? It's money. Right. Yeah. What, what does that run? And I, I mean, want to go get micro. I want these bushes. Though. Like I can do like set like sessions. Like they go anywhere from like six hundred. What the what? fuck? Mm -hmm. I'm about to learn this shit. It's on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> it's on and it's interesting. You should, you should really check it out. I, I bet I'll have an ad for it. Look, oh, yeah. Make a flyer quick. Then I'm like, <laughs> so do you have to be a, what a, 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 a esthetician? Esthetician. No, you actually don't. Um, with the microblading, they actually haven't said anything about that yet. Like, yeah. that hasn't, that's just has, that hasn't been something that they, you know, yeah. say yeah. that you have to have. You know, but you do have to get certified in it. Okay. You do. It's so like you it's usually like a three day class. Um you okay. know it's yeah, it's a three day like, class. They do, they do your whole you can microblade your whole face though, can't you? Yeah, I mean you could do your you could do microblading your eyebrows, um, your hair. Right. You know, like Yeah, I got hired one time to do a film gig through Evan. You remember? Yeah. And we went up there and they were doing like certifications teaching Doctors how to microblade faces. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There's some high There's a lot of money in that room. Mm -hmm. It is. I, I could tell. Cause you just could just get up and go. You know, it's something that you don't have to really put makeup on. Really, it's like just natural. You know, it's an enhancement. Uh, you know. Wow. So. It looked like a shader needle in the gun they were using. Oh, for, oh, it's yeah. a gun. It's a, well, it's it's called. What for the microblading? Yeah. It's like a it's a blade. It's his blade. See the machine they had had like they, now the mach they do have the machines like some people you could you could do it like hand, yeah and yeah. then they do have the machines okay which is probably better you know like that's what they were using yeah. they was like Cubans from Miami mm -hmm. they had no not not like Scarface Cubans like yeah, the no, high no. dollar three piece suit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cubans from Miami mm -hmm. you could tell it was money mm -hmm. like I knew. Like I wasn't smashing none of that. Uh -oh. <laughs> like I would, they wasn't dropping nothing off of that <laughs> at all. Uh -oh. It was like t-shirt jeans. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Are those Converse? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not doing it. Not gonna do it. <laughs> so, I absolutely not. So I might learn some micro braiding. My Michael Blading. Yeah. Blading. It's not Blading. <laughs> Michael Blading. You need to learn the lingo first, nigga. Michael Blading. <laughs> Is this what we micro braid? Nope. Uh, <laughs> I want to get mine done. Yeah. Yeah. This I was I, I found somebody to do it for like four hundred dollars, and she she does really good. She told me about like you know a few teachers, mm. and um they make the teachers make bank. They make money. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? That class. I think that class. That class is like anywhere from like. 
Uh, the one I know is like twenty eight hundred. Yeah. But no, they like up. Like they be that, like yeah. three, five thousand dollars. These were, these were at like, least I three to five. Like, no, it was more than I think this was like twenty six thousand dollars. And they they From got you, No, it was a whole oh, thing. Oh, like the whole class. Like they, they were, do other stuff too, you, dog, yeah. At the end of it, you literally sign a certificate thing. That's a lot of money. And they submitted, but they were doing everything. They were showing, I did one on collagen injections. Mm. And they were showing, like, they were mm. teaching them right then and there. If I ever could redo life, I would be a plastic surgeon. Or You're like not that, even 30. Day. You can go figure this out, bro. Ah, I gotta die. He's like, no, I don't know. I'm turned 36 this year. I'm done. I already am who I am. Yeah. <laughs> there's, no, there's nothing left I can do. How old are you? Down. Well, I'm uh, 29 now. 29? What do you mean you're already in bed? You I'm, don't think, I am what I am. You think so? I am. Yeah, you, you ain't making it to 30 early. yet. Right, whatever. Yeah. He's just saying no. I'm retiring at 30, nigga. You haven't even reached 30 yet. What you mean? <laughs> we still got some learning to do, believe it or not. I think we do. Most yeah, definitely. But, I'm but just like, we're definitely at that place where we do know, we should know, like, you know, A little who bit. we want, who we are. <laughs> yeah. Facts. I don't yeah. think. I don't think I can pull it off in this life. Yeah, well, no. If I could ever Just being it, honest, that's amazing shit. Yeah, look, at 36, if I go get any four-year degree, I'll be 40. Mm -hmm. Sitting in that classroom with them kids. They talking about, <laughs> you know what I mean? They talking about, I don't even know the lingo they use anymore. Look, one of us need to do that, bro. That's a, a sure shot, a sure shot, surefire way to get booked <laughs> when they graduate. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I would sell weed, too. <laughs> you know, I went back to college, I just started selling weed. I got that Zot. I got that Zot. Mm -hmm. I got that Zot. Zot crazy. <laughs> <laughs> to the teachers. Yeah. <laughs> to, the yeah teachers. to all of them. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Facts. When I was in school, knowing what I know now, hell yeah. Look, when I was in school, I didn't sell no drugs. I worked at Kroger. I used to sell to the teachers <laughs> cartons of cigarettes. <laughs> mm. I was stealing from, from Kroger. I'm sorry, Kroger. I was still from Kroger. Y'all doing fine. Yeah. <laughs> and go back and sell them to the teachers, man. That was all about it. He was hustling. Yeah, yes. He was hustling. Yes. Can you imagine the money you can make today? Oh, my goodness. Yep. Cleaning the fuck up. Yes. Mm -hmm. Them shits is what? Are they $100 yet for a carton? Yes. Yeah. Yes. A carton yes. sugar is $100. What are y'all talking about? Is it? Mm-hmm. Yes. I mean, I believe it. Like in New York, a pack of cigarette, a pack of cigarettes is like ten, eleven dollars. That's what I'm saying. Thirteen dollars, like in the city downtown, you mm -hmm. know, that shit crazy. Thirteen dollars for some fucking cigarettes, right? Kind of crazy. Yeah. Hey, stress. Can you imagine? That's a that's a hundred of bricks. Curse? Yeah, you can curse. Oh, okay. Fuck shit, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This might get dry. We do all that. No, but like it's gonna be hard. Like just think, every card you got is a hundo. <sighs> That's them bricks. <laughs> no, I don't smoke cigarettes. Y'all smoke cigarettes? I smoke cigarettes. I so. mm -hmm. How long have you been smoking cigarettes? Mm, I worked at Lowe's. Well, oh, it's been some years. It was after high school. I didn't smoke in high school. And then you took a break, I, too. Well, that's good. You didn't yeah. smoke in high school. Damn, you just started now. You just like. Well, I started, I mean, it was, it was probably 10, 10 years or more ago. But I started smoking because I worked overnights and they would only let you out of the building to go smoke uh -oh. so i would take a cigarette go out there and like at first i was fake smoking it mm -hmm. and then they started coming out there like monitoring <laughs> shit. Like, he said i face i was fake smoking and i would i get a cigarette and i'm, like, I'm gonna smoke <laughs> and i sit out there and i just let it burn in my hand and shit mm -hmm. and then eventually they started coming out there with us and i was like fuck nice just had to fuck smoke it. fuck it <laughs> you know fuck what it. i mean so fuck it. they got me yeah they got me Damn, see lows because you wouldn't give people proper fucking breaks. You got a man on cigarettes, right? So he could have avoided his whole life. Mm -hmm. you know? I started smoking when I was like fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. Damn, Brandon, you gotta stop. Uh, you don't. I don't want you, to. I stopped. He just uh, like, <laughs> oh, that's something I'm not doing. I, I don't want to. <laughs> What's up, Why? What's up? I look, my life. I have disciplined myself in so many other areas. So you can't discipline yourself to let me finish. Like, let come me on, finish. Right. I've come disciplined on. myself in so many other, other areas to where it's not that I'm worried, like, oh shit, I can't stop. It's just the basic fact of I think way too much. So cigarettes calm my head down. You can't, you can't, like, you don't, you like, 
I prefer smoke. I like it. <laughs> I think a lot too, though. I think a lot. Too. No, I think a lot, bro. Like, I'm no, to seriously, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> like, I'm really. We probably think just as long. I'm, I think a lot, but that's just something that I've never. That trait I've never. I've got. I started with black in my house. I, I used to smoke mm -hmm. black stuff. Mm -hmm. I did. The blacks are terrible. But the then that's, that shit is terrible. Like, I get it nauseous when I. I and when smoke I hit that it. point is when I went to regular cigarettes. Like, but. It came to the point to where, like, I think I was, like, 16 at the time. Mm -hmm. And, like, blacks were just making me nauseous. And I went to one of my teachers. Yeah. And I asked him about it. And he was like, yes, yeah, it's, it's cheap. It's, it's cheap tobacco. And, like, because they got to stuff it. It's cheap tobacco. It's not good at all. Day. So I just had to, like, fess up to my mom because I needed to bum a cigarette. Oh. <laughs> I was like... Look, look, at I 16, was, like, yeah, yeah, I was like, yo, look, I was smoking uh, black in my house. Like, I knew I could smell it in your clothes. I was like, yeah, but I don't do it anymore. She's like, it's good. Like, no, it makes my stomach hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I need to smoke a cigarette. Yeah, I'm going to see if I get one of yours. Right, right. <laughs> wow. Damn, that's how it went, right? Yeah. yeah. I've always had the most weird, like, introductions to, like, breaking news for my mom. Mm. <laughs> like, when I told her I was having sex, we were just in the car. And we can't, we pulled up to a stop sign. I just rolled through. <laughs> I turned the radio down, and I just looked at like, so you know I'm having sex out here, right? <laughs> she was like, you just said it like that. I swear, I just turned. And I was like, you know I'm having sex. Out here. The first time I had to lift my pants, <laughs> I was having sex. I had knocked somebody up. Oh, oh, Shut awful. up! Your Paco. first time? Yeah. Paco, no. Paco. Oh my god. Oh, that's wild. It was like, it was like, what's wrong with you? I was like, <laughs> right. so and so is pregnant, <laughs> and then I just walked the fuck out. <laughs> Next thing I did, I came home from school. There's a big ass box of condoms. I was like, you're late, you're late. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> hey Brandon, turn that sound effects board uh, channel up for me. Oh god! Oh god! Right, right. That's wild. Yeah, Keep going. Come on, yeah. right there. Yeah, turn it on. No, no, you turned it off. There you go. Let me, let me, let me see. What oh my gosh! I don't think we we in there. Did it turn it on? Yeah, yeah. I just heard. Can y'all hear this? I yeah, I heard. did. Yeah. Okay. Good, 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 good. I need so, glasses. You need glasses. Why? Mm -hmm. Cause I just do. Okay. All right. So, uh, I, every time I get she said, don't so. tell that story. <laughs> Why is it don't tell that story? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry. So, how did you have to tell your parents you were having sex? Or did you just hold out till you moved out? Oh, no. <laughs> um, I, remember, I remember I was. If I had that option to lie, I would have took that one. Yeah, I held out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> held out. <laughs> nah, I couldn't. I was really close to my mom. I told my mom. Um, I like. I mean, I don't know how she didn't know. Like, what the fuck? How old were you? I was sixteen. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I was sixteen. Yeah. I lost my virginity. Oh, my God. I told my but daughter like, I was she like, couldn't like, date till she was I lost 16. my virginity on like the couch in my oh. house and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, there was, there my was boyfriend used special? to stay the night. No, it was oh. definitely it was my boyfriend. Okay, all right, all right. We dated for years. It was wasn't special. It was very special. Oh, but I'm just saying, like, we. I know. I'm saying, I like, know. I don't know how she didn't know because, like. We was fucking on the damn couch when he right. stayed night, you know what I'm saying? Cause he used to come over and stuff. And right. like we used to try like like it was so terrible, y'all. Like, did y'all have like the blankets and shit? Yeah, we did. Like... Matter of fact, my friends was over. My friends was over the house. My homegirls, Brianna, Brianna, Scott, and Brittany. What are you doing? No, I'm talking about when y'all sitting on the couch with, with the blanket. blanket. You know the blanket move. We just blanket. real close under the blankets. Nah, y'all. We just did what they did. We just like, you know what I'm saying? My homegirls was over there laying on the couch. I was almost sleeping on the floor. <laughs> it was my first time. He didn't even know though. I want to. I, I, I like. I guess I, I used to lie and say like I wasn't a virgin. Oh, okay. Like what the fuck? I think about that I now. I'm like, say what the I fuck? was. Yeah. I would really? like say I was like a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've never done this. I mean, I didn't just go around and be like, yeah, but I, you know, yeah. he thought we did, but I want to tell him like later on. I'm like, you know, I lost my virginity. He was like, uh oh. Yeah. I'm like, duh. He was like, I knew you did. I knew you did. You know. See. You have to be careful. See, as a guy, like taking somebody's V card can mean like, like a constant. 
Listen, I took Cling that nigga. To that nigga wasn't even a version, but I took his V card. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I took that nigga V card. <coughs> we took wow. each other's V card. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like, I hate taking. That was my boyfriend. It was special though. We used to get a phone call. I used to hate taking V. I only took a couple and I just didn't what? I despised it. I just taking what? the V card, taking I somebody's virginity. I really? It. I hated it, yeah. So I yours was wasn't special. No, my first time was special. Like my first time. Well, you I just didn't say, like taking girls' virginity. Yeah, I didn't like dealing with virgins. It just it was, it's, it's too much communication that we have to do here. It's, right. Breathe, you're good, you're okay. All right. It's a here it goes. <laughs> yeah. I can't deal. Hey, right. fuck that. I can't deal. <laughs> One cheek man, I took a virginity. She changed positions four times that night. Oh, like virgin. I had to push her across the floor <laughs> like, oh, almost until we got to the wall. I feel like I used to know, but I knew what I was doing. My oh, for real? Yeah, yeah, really? I definitely did. Man. I think so. How? Did you watch Uncut? I mean, you uncut when you little? Yeah, I mean, I still sneak and watch stuff when I was younger. <laughs> you just like, Mom used to watch shit. Really? So I used to see all kinds of weird, kinky shit sometimes, right. you know? So. <laughs> I was already, I feel like I was already freaked out. <laughs> I felt like the that. path was set. It was the just set for me. Set. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, me and my boyfriend, we were just both both of us just freaked out. Yeah. Yeah. I got a dog my first time. We was too grown. You got a what? My first dog. Oh, what? Okay. I thought you said like, your first time was a dog. dog. I was like, like, my first time. Like, <laughs> you heard that too? Yeah, my first time. <laughs> like, her, her excuse. To, <laughs> her excuse to come to the house was to bring me my my, my dog. It was my first time getting a dog. Mm -hmm. So as soon as we got in the house, though, she like, all right, come with me. And like, just took me to the room. Oh, nice. And like, we made a bowl real quick for the dog. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I got a dog. I just got me a dog. <laughs> she took me to the room and. She, I'm laid down. I ain't do nothing. I did nothing at all. Right. I was just like, all right. So, what's your first time? Yeah. I was just like, oh, okay. How old like, were you? You know, yes. Uh, that, all right. My my actual real first time was just me being like a scientist when I was eight and shit. So, like, when once, you was eight? Yeah. Like, so once I realized that that That's was. That's when you had sex? Yeah. I didn't know it was sex, though. I just found a hole in. Was it somebody friends. older? They were only a year older. Oh, okay. Like, they were nine. I was eight. And I was just like, you got a hole. And like just, Shut just primal fuck? instinct kicked in, and I don't know. I was gonna put my pee pee. No. In. <laughs> Are you I just. <laughs> but yeah, the party then, I was like, I was like fourteen, like the next time, because like, once I found out that that was sex, I was like, oh, I already did that. That's when I was lying to people. Like, no, yeah, I'm a virgin. I'm like, yeah, I'm a virgin. Yeah. So, but my girlfriend at the time like did it. And I'm like laid down and she's just doing tricks and hula hoops yeah, and shit. I'm yeah. like, <laughs> like, God damn. Like, yo. Right. She left and I had me a dog. I was like, this is great. This mm -hmm. what a day. I got my first dog. Set the pace. Brandon feel like you need a present every time you fuck. Hell no. <laughs> you ain't bring nothing? You don't bring want this dick. Yes, please. You don't want this dick. You ain't bring nothing? You ain't trying to. You ain't trying. <laughs> Wayne said it was the 90s R&B. <laughs> that could have been it. That could have been it. Facts. It was, uh, I mean, think about it. Even the way, how old are you? I'm 28. 28, okay. So y'all in the same ballpark there. When we used to go to the clubs, it used to just be all bumping and grinding. Right. It was like, it was like it grinding was. through clothes, you know what I mean? You're trying to get it. Now, that's not even like that no more. Like, no. It's not dancing. Dance. Yeah. Girl, the girls is doing it's I mean, just like, you just sitting around shit. or just. Because yeah. you get that one and she, and she twerk on you for, for three songs or longer. Boom. Yeah. And then if she got down for you, you got down, get that little rock in the pants. Yeah. Yeah. You put the wiener on the bun. On the bun. Hell yes. Hell yes. I'm button. pressing that mug. Yeah. We were on four. We were on four songs. Yeah. Nah, I need to let you know. I'm just oh. working with something back here. You, know, leave me alone. you, just, you just get the. Yeah. Mm, nah. That apply pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you just apply pressure. Yeah, I'm putting the wiener on the bun. Fuck yeah. that. It ain't like that no more. You used to be able. That was the that was the foreplay right there. That niggas is that lying was, dancing what? now. Right. Shit, <laughs> Dancing and stuff. Yeah, and then they lying. Yeah, Nobody shit, does man. anything out here. And in New York, people be dancing though. Oh yeah. They still be playing, playing like you know, throwback reggae or even mm. reggae. See, stuff. I like to watch and soca music. All of that. I like that. Like yeah. niggas be dancing. That's out intimacy. Out here, that people don't be dance. dancing. They just be standing around like I want to dance. What's so wrong boring. with dancing? Like yeah. stand. You know, I had a, like, I had a dance off with a drunk. 
for the drunk guy and, and uh, Jazzy Sensations because I was just so over nobody dancing. It was just this one drunk ass white dude in the yeah. middle of the floor, just like, <laughs> and I was like, he's the only one having a good time. Yeah. Everybody else just he came was. here to be here. He is truly enjoying doing himself. Exactly right. what I'm gonna dance with him. Yeah. And we had a whole dance off battle. He beat me. <laughs> he beat me because he, he started doing like fucking spins on his head. He hit you with that like, matrix. Nigga, I'm not, I thought you was drunk. How the hell you <laughs> I'm not that drunk. <laughs> I remember that move. Yeah. <laughs> so, the last wedding we DJ'd, he had a MC Hammer dance off with a white lady. That was like doing the what, what do you call that? I don't even know what you the, 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 Yeah, the, the MC Hammer. And this white lady, she was getting it though. She was. Yeah, yeah, I give her a bomb. Man. She was getting that shit. But I had to come behind them turntables though. <coughs> I had to come okay. from behind them turntables. Yeah. I, just, I was like, all right, all right. Represent. Yeah, we can't represent. can't go out like that. I can't go out like that. Wait a minute, ah, for the people, for the culture. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. So you also do like some modeling and stuff, right? I do. I'm getting back into modeling. I used to do like a little bit of modeling when I was younger and stuff. Yeah, kind of tell us about that. Um, well, I'm about to have like this photo shoot this weekend, so you know. <laughs> That's gonna be lit. I'm super excited because like I, ha you know, I got my outfits and everything together, and I just, you know, want to, I want to do, you know, like art, you know, like mm -hmm. you know, I want to show a different side of me. You know what I'm saying? That's so I'm gonna start my portfolio and stuff and get back into that and you know. So what do you? Uh, what type of model do you want to do? You want to do like runway? You want to do like magazine, swimsuit? No, I high mean high fashion. Just yeah, like basically high fashion. I want to do all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't mind doing magazines and stuff. You know, like you know, but I do want to have different like varieties. Like I want to do some art stuff that you can put up on a wall. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like I want to put shit up on my wall. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I you. Let me tell you, photographer, photographer, the model. Let a photographer plan that shit. Because they know what they can do and what they can't do. Like, if you present it to a photographer, they're always going to take the gig because they want the money. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you're like, I want to be a paint, a paint splattered here and do this and that and do this mm -hmm. and that. And then they hit them like, like, fuck. Yeah. I so, had a conversation with my photographer. I had to. I was like, I have to call this nigga. Like, <laughs> I want you to know, like, what I, because I, I want to know, like, what, what type of information I need to give them to, you know what right, I'm saying? Like, right. but I heard he's a good, you know, photographer. I'm seeing. Okay. What to do and shit. You wanna, you wanna give a shout out or no? Um, it's good. His name is Virgil. Virgil. Do you guys know, know yeah. Virgil? I don't know Virgil. Mm -hmm. he yeah. yeah. A friend of yeah. mine's um, you know, referred him to me. And yeah, uh, my friend Jasmine. Friend like, uh, Jasmine told me about it. Yeah, okay. Mm. Shout out to T. Shout out to Chell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she referred him to me. So, you know, I reached out to him. I saw his work. It looks pretty good, you know. And yeah, I had awesome. a conversation with him, letting him know, like, where it would, like, Give him an idea about me, you know what right. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, and like he does, I feel like he gets me and stuff. So, like, I'm kind of excited. That's what's up. That's what's up. And this, yeah. that's gonna be your first official shoot back in the model, back in tomorrow. Yeah, that's what's up. So, is Jazz helping you, um, uh, with the agency side? Of it? No, no, not really. She, okay. she, you know, I just know that you know, Jazz is into modeling and stuff. We, we used to both when Jazz first started, you know, doing it, I was like into stuff like that and you know, doing some up. pictures and stuff. So, like. I know she'd be into, she'd be doing all of that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I had yeah. to hit her up and she referred me to like three different photographers, but one of them, like, he, he kind of like, you know, stood out. Stood out. Yeah, gotcha. So I want to gotcha. see what it is. That's, That's, cool. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. So, Brandon, what we got on the headlines for this week? Um. Oh, I want to ask y'all a question that uh, has been all over Twitter and everything. I'm sure. So, if you had the option between Five hundred thousand dollars. I already know what I was gonna say. But five hundred thousand dollars or a dinner with Jay Z. What would you do? Which one you do? <laughs> taking the money, baby? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm getting them. Hove. I mean, you could get in the term get in bed with Hove, but that's not guaranteed five hundred thousand. You might guaranteed. go in debt. You might owe that record label. Yeah. So no. I'm taking the I'm five. Taking the money, facts. And Every time. Down. My perspective is, whatever I'm gonna do with the five hundred thousand, probably gonna give me a room with them anyways. Right. Because mm -hmm. like, I know what to do with it. And right. And 
anything he's gonna tell me, he probably already put on that. Facts. So yeah. But if anything, he probably gonna be like, "That's what you should have did." Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what you should. <laughs> he would have showed up to the dinner and was like, "You passed up the money." To yeah. Eat it? Right. Yeah. Nigga, like, you eat a sandwich, nigga. Like the fuck is this? This is this is Arby's. So. <laughs> 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 Then you passed up the five hundred thousand. No, bro. Mm. That, that could go either way. He could be like, you know, I'm gonna give you five hundred. I'm gonna give you more. I'm gonna sign you. I'm gonna be a mentor and all of that. You know? Or he could be like, you're stupid. You're stupid. I and can't even trust it. you with the bag. Like, he better yeah. not tell nobody they stupid. I mean, nigga, what? <laughs> you pass up five hundred thousand. Wait, you coming up with something? Like, Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but. What what do you think it says the fact that that's even like a, a question? The, yeah, that, that's just on the internet. Like five. What it says? The fact that they're equating like people that, really like, just feel like this man 500, is five hundred thousand to a dinner with Jay God for right, real. Right. You know, they really people really for real. Hold on. I, and I love Jay Z. I love Jay Z. I fuck with Jay Z. But Jay-Z. I have to say. You ain't, bro. You're not even my favorite rapper, bro. Right. Like, I'm not passing five hundred thousand to sit with Obama. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. right. You said with Obama. Facts. Right. What the hell gonna do for me? Like, what's <laughs> up? I ain't gonna talk to you, bro. Right. I'm gonna make shit happen. Man, man, five hundred k. That's that's enough to change your life. Bro. Hell yeah, that's, bro. That's changing everybody I know's life. Yeah. Like, that's, Facts. I know what to do with it. All right. Everybody I know, that, right. that, that the people that would actually get that phone call, yeah. I'm like, nigga, I got five. Right. <laughs> everybody said, right. Right. Like, period. Shit, bro, nigga, if we had an extra 25000 Oh, I know. If, if, look, I know. You know what to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, ain't no. I don't even know what I'd even talk to Hope about. I'd be like, right? What are you gonna talk about? So, that Beyonce pussy fire or what? Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. what is sex with Beyonce like? Yeah, you know what I mean? Everything else you put in your album. <laughs> yeah. I know about your mom. I don't know about your nephew. I know about your friends. Tata, he good. Yeah. Like, I know about all them through your album. You and Beans ever work your shit out? <laughs> like, I really <laughs> fuck with Beans more than I fuck with you. <laughs> hey, but I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I got you here. <laughs> yeah, Beans number. That's why I took this. Mm, I Wait. didn't need Beans number. Hold on, what happened to Beans though? No, he still around. No, he lost. He lost. You his think he got list. money? No. You think he got no, money? I think Beans broke. Beans is broke. That sucks. Beans is broke. Beans, like shout out to Beans, love. Bro. I love Beans, but like Beans Which, broke. Yeah. But why? Why did he go broke? I mean, well, he lost his voice. He lost his whole voice. Did he really? Yeah. He In lost that time his... period, though, a lot of niggas didn't even own their masters and shit either. Mm-hmm. No, nah, they definitely own his masters. But yeah. I was saying like. Even dudes that come back out like Lloyd Banks dropped an album, but he's by himself, so he's able to get yeah. his own shit going. Right. Yeah. He lost his voice. Yeah. Imagine being Benny Siegel. Like you're you popping up the way they made not one state property, but two. Right. And right. you can't really act. He was just yeah. that popping. Yeah. And you lose your voice. Yeah. That's how that's how you go broke. The question is uh, to ask, how is Chingy broke? <laughs> <laughs> right. Are you sure Chingy still bro? got his voice. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's always one way to Chinky find out. Chinky was that directing, though. Like, he was producing and stuff, like, doing songs for other people, wasn't he? Ch- Chinky was working at Wingstop last time. Awesome. For real? Yeah, yeah, he was working at Wingstop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's Beanie for because then nobody tell him that he should use his... I mean, that nigga was making movies, you know what I'm saying? Like, he could have been a director or something. Or, you know what I'm saying? Point. Like, Good point. He could have... Hey, I didn't ever thought of that. I mean... He could have took that and got down, got into the movie line. I mean, but he was in movies. Benny he was Singles making his little movies and stuff. Net worth. I just fuck with it. It's a hundred thousand dollars. And you know that that's not right. You know it. <laughs> that what year was it? His net worth is a hundred thousand. That's the last year that they felt like reporting on it though. Like, what was that? He said, "Look, there's an article here. This is Benny Siegel says Dame Dash owes him eleven million. You're not about to get that. Number one, Beans." If he really owed him eleven million, Beans put hands on that nigga. Mm-hmm. Quick, Dame Dash is not that protected. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Niggas still but Dame Dash that. ain't got eleven million. You don't think so? No. Let's no. See. Dame Dash, no. I say he got about eight million. That's why on that show. What's that growing up hip hop? Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. 
Mm. Let's see. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> 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 he need to call beans. Yeah. <laughs> you better yeah. get whatever beans you get. You know, you can get out of bank. As of, it says, look, guys, as of 2021, Dame Dash's net worth is approximately $10,000. Me and that nigga on the same level. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga on the same level. What up, Dame? Holla at your boy. Get your spot on the show, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to say I had a dinner with. Yeah, yes. What happened? What did you do? <laughs> What did you say like a concerned parents? What did you do? <laughs> Tell me what to avoid. Yeah, I know. Look, I just got five hundred thousand for turning down a one more hole. I got you for fifty bucks. Right. <laughs> I need beans catch you in the alley. Is yeah, that what happened? He got right. his eleven million. <laughs> so yeah. God damn. Wow. Ten thousand dollars. You wanna talk about now, I was never a damn dad training. For real, I like Dame. No, Dame. The Dame was way too cocky. He was. I like so, I like cocky, but, but you, like he you was just need like that. That portion of the of no, the he chemistry. Looked disrespectful. Like if you coming in with a record label, you're not just an cocky. artist. Like as an artist, you're if, just, but if you're a record label, you got to think about everybody that's a successful black record label owner. Know. They have to be a Dame Dash. If Dame Dash was a booty, he did he got damn. He would be that ass. <laughs> he would be that ass. If Dame Dash was a booty, <laughs> yeah, he was that, that's the ego. That's how big his ego is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't that big. Bro, you hyping. You hyping. Nah. You got a cupcake. But you know. Yeah. You got two cupcakes. The proof Boy, is in the picture. Bye. That's a plum. <laughs> exactly. The proof is in the picture, y'all. Period. She got two cupcakes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And the sun was beaming from the right angle. You right. a hater. <laughs> Did y'all see the video of Lil Baby's... Um, security tackling that kid. I did. Yes. Right, let's talk I about that, that for a minute. All right, I feel like that was a little too much. Like, what? Because y'all are already late to, to give it. Him a handshake and shit. Like, like but but it. the security, you're already late. Don't be tough now. Right. Just come yeah. out and walk you, him off the stage. Fault, you miss right. it, nigga. Like, walk him off the stage. They but, pummeled this nigga for no reason. Because now you want to look tough. Yeah. Because you you done slipped and this nigga already. But I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, like yeah, he shouldn't have been up there. Whatever, whatever. Whoopie woo. I didn't like little baby's reaction. No, I did not. I, I was like, she oh, you want us up. to spend money with y'all? But that nigga was obviously close enough Hell to the performance. Yeah. He spent some cake on that ticket. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he could have at least like. Hey, um, what's up? Yeah, and they told me get him. Like, the thing is the, like why God. fans rush the stage more now is because Travis Scott. Travis Scott made it to where if you rush the stage, he don't let security take you out like his rule is if you get on stage you have to stage that uh, so they'll stop and he'll cue up the song that like has a, a, a drop on it yeah and that's his that uh, are you up here yes yeah and then you have to stage dive and if you big small whatever you if you up they ain't here, gotta catch your ass <laughs> exactly yeah. like some people just go straight to the goddamn ground oh, that's the rule. my ass so. would be going straight to the ground <laughs> ain't nobody catching my big ass so it's they like, better catch me. Yeah, they gonna catch you. I just showed y'all why. <laughs> they said I saw the episode. Right. Of the show. They positioned me. I can't stand y'all. <laughs> <laughs> they elbowing the niggas. French fries? Why? Because we're about to get these oh, yams. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> about to get some yams. <laughs> he said yams. Uh, <laughs> What do you say? Only hands? <laughs> <laughs> Look at these hands with these only hands. <laughs> so, but yeah. But that's why like why fans are they rush the stage more yeah. now. Because they think that I and mean, then there's other performers that because Travis Scott did that, that he that they start doing right. that shit. I think it was but extra. that was not one of them. I didn't like his whole reaction, just like the yeah, point he, at him and he walk stopped, off. He he jerked his hand back and then he stopped mm -hmm. rapping and walked mm -hmm. off. I was like no, Nigga, bro. you were getting real bougie right this yeah, minute. That real. wasn't cool. For real. Like, and then yeah. just let the security just yes. and they just and disregarded that it was happening or anything. Yeah, it's like, oh, you want me to break bread? And I like little baby. That was like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. a lot of people was the baby, and I was little baby. But oh, for real? yeah, yeah, yeah. I like <laughs> I like yeah, I mean, baby. I like them both. But if I gotta pick a side, 
Ah, you know, uh, yeah. I'm the baby. The yeah, baby? Yeah, yeah. So that I'm and most love people baby. was the baby. The baby yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, going with, I'm going with the baby. It's just his rap flow. It's that the same is, every song. Yeah, but it's I heard so, that. But it's so unlike <laughs> anybody else's. Yeah, it I mean, could be the different. same in every song, but there's nobody else that raps like him. Yeah, so yeah, I don't think he's like a new generation of Little Chris. Nah. Do you do you get where I'm Chris. coming from? Though he's yeah. not on his level. Right. Not saying yeah. that. Ooh, that was no, a lot of credit. No, no, no. <laughs> but I fuck with your brother. No, yeah. they you didn't see they yeah, had they like a, a clip of Little Chris. He talked about it, and he was like, basically, he was like, I mean, there's no. Basically, he was like, there's no comparison because I've been in this game for. Yeah. This long, you know what I'm saying? But the rap style. But I'd never you know, thought of that. The style, yeah. Little Chris is, is top like tier rapping. lyrical though. Oh my god, he used to be my top five. Yeah, he's top like, when tier. When I was lyricist. younger, it was Ludacris, Twister, Snoop Dogg, Mystical, mm -hmm. and Eminem. Yeah. Man, like like Luda is Luda was definitely my top. He, he's yeah. one of the best lyricists from the South. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm definitely everything makes sense, nothing's forced, and everything flows. This is how far the game has gone. With Ludacris, he had a specific rule that if you could not understand his words all the way through, he would redo the entire verse. Mm -hmm. So instead of the mumble rap, where it's like I'm just in the uh, feeling, uh, he, you had to, if he listened to it, he could not make out every word, he would redo the whole verse. Yep. Yeah. It's different. Yes. Yeah, different game. It's a different yeah. game. Shout out to Ludacris. For yeah, real, shout out to Luda. That motherfucker cold as hell. Did y'all see his verses <coughs> with Nelly? His what? The verses he did with Nelly. No, uh, I didn't get to see oh, it. I've been missing a lot of verses. Oh. He ain't Nelly up. Like, Nelly got some. Uh, I bet he up. did, though. But, like, oh, my God. Nobody Everybody has verses challenged him now. Who? Ludicrous. Nobody's been Class. like in a verses battle with him. Nelly. Oh, that was Nelly? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Bruh, ate him. Ate oh, him. Sure. Bruh, every song, he was like, that was cool. I'm gonna play this. Boom! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. everything from from move, get out the way to shake that money maker. Yeah. Man, he played he played songs that you didn't hear after like that year when it came out. Yeah. But like just hearing it again, you're like, damn, you did make that. Oh, that was Fast. Fast. Damn, I ain't heard that. Shit. <laughs> no, I, ain't I heard that song sixteen years. Right, like, right. Still wow. cold. He, Murdered Nelly. Oh, I'm sure. Oh my goodness. I'm sure it's time. His music is it's kind of timeless too. It you is. know what I mean? Like it is. It is. I want to see a versus that has Lil Wayne in it. But who? Lil Wayne. I, and Lil Wayne's not gonna be able to even perform all that shit. That's the problem. That's the reason you can't book Lil Wayne for a versus. Well, I don't think people no. have the money. He got too many songs. No, he's had too many drugs. <laughs> <laughs> he got a lot of songs. He does have a lot, but he ain't gonna remember all that shit. He gonna be up there, yeah. yeah. He's gonna be chilling, yeah, yeah, drinking. Drinking. But I mean, that's what killed Dipset. All that just sitting back, being Bruh. too cool, shit. They got eight. Dipset. Let's talk about it. We ain't talking hey. about that. Did you see the verses with uh, Dipset in the lot? So I saw little clips. I didn't get to see the whole thing. Come yeah. On. I don't want to know. I gotta watch it. I can't oh, put it on now. No. They hit us for copyright. Oh, for real? Yeah, they'd oh. be like, mm, we need them coins. I saw the, like a little <laughs> altercation that he had. Who who was it? Who, who was it with when it was like it was Cameron, Cameron and um, uh, Styles P. Yeah, yeah. When he kicked him. Yes. Yeah. They they didn't made up. They did. They, they did. made up. It's a little. In that moment, though, I understand. Yeah. Right? He was like, bro, yeah. you put my <laughs> you put your feet on me in Madison Square Garden. Yeah. yeah he was. <laughs> like, he was tripping. Like he'd be yeah. funny. If I hadn't already got paid for this night, nigga, I'd beat the shit out of you. Yes. I'd beat you on this stage. Yeah, yeah. he was mad. So who, is it Swiss Beats that owns the verses? Swiss Beats and Timberland. Oh, man. Swiss Beats is is one of the most unknown gangster motherfuckers mm -hmm. I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. He married Alicia Keys, and we completely forgot yeah. he was DMX best friend. Oh, yeah. This nigga be talking so much shit. Yeah. <laughs> he yes. talks yes. so much shit in a... In a confident type of way of I'll really do it. Like he don't just be being big. Go he ahead. just talk shit. Drake ain't gonna come on versus man, we'll shoot that plane out of the sky. Yeah. Ooh, Swiss. What the fuck? <laughs> Swiss he what? <laughs> what the fuck? Swiss <laughs> <laughs> he, he said he said 50 cent. Come on man, you're a nice guy. Come on. We love you. You're 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 a sweet. You're a sweet guy. Who's Swiss said that? <laughs> Swiss Swiss. Said that. Oh, he said I mean sweet. the niggas married to Alicia Keys. Yeah. yeah. He's confident. He's yeah. confident. So 
It's it's surprising he don't brag about being married to Alicia like Jay Z brags about being married to Beyonce. Yeah. I and think it's I because Alicia, she's you not. You niggas would know it every fucking time. But I think tattoo. it's only because <laughs> she's not doing like she's not like out there like Beyonce. It's Alicia Keys. Though. I mean, yeah, yeah Alicia oh Keys is definitely you know, but she don't talk. Zone, 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 she don't. Zone, you think she talks <laughs> Beyonce? Mm. I mean, I, you, I can't mean even, you can't even say that because she hasn't been like she, right. she hasn't been out figure. like recently. You know, financial figure to all that sales. No, on the charts of niggas that would smash and and uphold her. Yes, yes. like yes. if you had a poll with just black men and it said like Maya, Alicia Keys. Beyonce, you know what yeah. I mean? Whoever else you want to throw on that list. Alicia's it's going to be Alicia, Alicia for y'all. Alicia. Fuck from Maya, Beyonce, Lauren Alicia, Hill. Lauren Hill. I think Alicia going to I think Alicia will carry. Yeah. I think that the, like if you had a cuff but like you had the who would you cuff out of this list? Oh, yeah, I think Alicia. I'm not I'm not cuffing Beyonce. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not cuffing I'm not I can't cuff Lauren Hill. Yeah. Like she just seems like she's a little too Always. Nigga, Lord, here I tell you to pick your socks up off the right. floor. She just seems like she's just always conscious. Like breakfast is we gotta have a deep conversation. I'm like, oh baby, I just want eggs. Like it's too much. Like, yeah, I, right. want some I just want some eggs right now. Right. Hey, I know how you feel, but just hold on. I just need some coffee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would be Alicia for me too though. Yeah. Alicia is just I mean Beyonce is beautiful too, but Alicia is like she's she was my more my type. She's a unicorn. She's a unicorn. unicorn. Yes. Mm -hmm. She's a unicorn. Mm -hmm. Great white buffalo. Great white buffalo. Great white buffalo. What's that? Very rare. <laughs> Great white buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I told Tommy. Yeah. yeah. So, you know the new, <laughs> you know the new versus battle the new coming up. Fat Joe and Ja Rule. Yes. Well, you Wait, Fat Joe really? about the I didn't really? I didn't hear about that. I want to say this on camera, and, I, and I'm going to be that guy. Dude, I caught it. Fat Joe is going to wash Ja Rule. I mean. You think so? Oh, fuck. Yes. So? yes. Fuck yes. Okay. This nigga can go back further in his catalog. Yo, ja people don't give Ja Rule enough recent credit. Yeah, that's true. I'm no, just no, no. Like, no, 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 Fat Joe? He, he Don't can, get me wrong. I love Fat Joe. He can Joe. play shit from Big Pun era, and he can go all the way up to, I'm all the way up. The, all those years Do in between. Do you listen to Ja Rule? But Do you know his hits and music? Ja Rule does have can a lot of hits. He got a up, lot. Though. How many can he put up I against a nigga that's been many? doing it for 25 years? Here's the thing. You though. got a man with 25 years of hits. Here's, and here's, this nigga got like... And that, he, in the time frame he was in, that shit was like, he took over the, what was it? What year? 2000. 2000 yeah. Just two, 2000. Yeah. yeah. Let me, let, here's the thing about I Fat Joe. The 2000s, period. Fat Joe, different from Fat Joe, Joe. Fat Joe has a lot of like New England, New York hits. Right. Yeah. Where Ja Rule has a lot of like just nationwide nice. chart hits. Now, I mean, my preferred rapper. Is Fat Joe? Ja Rule got a bunch of like, See, like singy songy hits and shit. They got a lot of all kinds of different oh shit. God, Murder Inc. Murder Inc. Like yeah, oh, that Herb Gotti shit. That Herb Gotti has like, so many years to just pick. No, he from. does though. But he just be like, I want to, I want to, I want to remind him about this, and then I'm gonna do this, and then I can, I'm gonna play this song with French Montana, and then I'm gonna do this one I have a Remy Ma. But then I'm gonna go all the way back to lean back, and then I'm gonna remind him I did a song with Ashanti. But I mean, I mean, he's he had a whole career before lean right. back, though. That's what I'm like he dominated the airways before lean back. Mm -hmm. To going back to lean back, he can only go so far back. Yeah, Joe is not out no, no more. Like fat, talking about Fat Joe. Fat Joe is like he's but, still in the uh, mix. No, Fat Joe got stuff before lean back. I know he I do, mean, but like he can play the big pun tracks. But they're not gonna. It just don't. It's not gonna not carry with, over. Like, like to us, you're thirty. That's not gonna carry over to everybody after you. Oh, I think so. I could, I could hit a random. Right, niggas is not listening to Fat Joe like got? that out here. I fuck, I listen to him. But who I got big pun in chat. Uh, not, not big pun. Bodiqua. Bodiqua. Fat Joe. Fat uh, Joe and Ja Rule. And I am biased because one of my favorite albums of all time is Capital Punishment. And, right. <laughs> and fucking him and Fat Joe on that album just influenced me way too young. 
And like, them niggas was amazing. I like, it's two fat dudes running around <laughs> and, and can out rap everybody. Yeah. It's just, I love it. Yeah. But I mean, all the way through, ah, we got to watch it, but I'm calling it Fat Joe. Fat Joe. That's why I'm putting my money in. I'm putting it I mean, Fat that's Joe. You, you're sticking up for the, you know, the Puerto Rican side, you know, that, you know. Yeah. And I too, too, but I'm just like really into music, you know what I'm saying? Like, now he got some shit. He got some shit. But how many songs is he going to play where, we just, where we're like, damn? Cool. I really like it because Lil Mo was saying I'm hood. You know what I mean? Like, right. I really like this. Who, Fat Joe? No, Ja Rule. Like, every, every, it just really depends on where you're from, too, though. With, with ja Rule. Because in New York, the I only song know. I can think of with Ja Rule Fat was where it's not J Lo, Lil Mo, or Shanti singing on it that made me like it. Was that holla, holla, idiot. You just don't fuck with Ja Rule. That's just Jaru. all it is, though. I, I can't think of none that, that were the. Because you don't listen to his music, girl. that's why. But even his hits, his, his hits were like. they were. Can singing. I get a fuck you? Uh -huh. Can I get a fuck you? I know. But that wasn't him, though. That wasn't him on the hook again. That's what it's I'm saying. Like, be him on the hook. But no. all I'm saying is the stuff that I made that, that I think of is like it's not really you that made me like the song. Look, Fat Joe is the like, shit. You know what I'm saying? But Ja Rule is songs. that nigga, and people don't give that nigga enough credit. <laughs> For real. I, so we gonna, see. <laughs> we gonna see. Here's the thing. It's at Madison Square Garden. So really, Fat Joe got the home team advantage regardless. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like regardless, the crowd is gonna be Fat Joe. Yes. Yes. You know what I'm yes. saying? Yeah. Because he like run he like run New York, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, like he's yeah. New York. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Job was New York too, but Fat Joe Jarvis. is he's New York. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. Like yes. you know, I just fuck with Java. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with Fat Joe from too. New York. Facts. Fat Joe Facts. is New York. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's gonna be funny as hell, man. Like when watching that better. their demeanor, <laughs> like as they do their shit, the, 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 the shades. Why? Yeah, they feel better. Because yeah, because the no, these are my ears. Oh, was, oh, I'm sorry. It was uncomfortable okay. for right. for a minute. Feels better now. Okay. We got so they say, look, like, the viewers are saying Aaliyah over all of them. If we put the poll up, period. Yeah. Period. Period. Ah, why y'all gonna make Perry. us say it? Period. <laughs> Come on. Period. I can't go. Well, in that case, yeah, left eye would be my baby. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so what? what? We throwing Whitney? We gonna, Whitney? We gonna forget about Whitney? <laughs> Whitney, Whitney Houston. Yeah, Whitney. Yeah. If we go, if we can include everybody, then right. yes, Whitney. Whitney. Pre coach. Not I'm yet. taking her any way she coming. I don't want Coke Whitney. That was ugly. Imagine. That was a train wreck. Look, this is what I thought. <laughs> you didn't watch enough Bobby and Whitney. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> she was too much. This is what I was thinking. She always had that in her, though. But, but Even look, before the fucking drop. Imagine waking up in the morning, right? Should have been. And all you hear <laughs> is a coked up Whitney. Just in the bathroom, just getting ready for the day, just hitting high notes. That's I mean, just what she's, you wake up to. But see, this is what you don't know about. Know, just, yeah. She's in the bathroom. Shut up. Because good coke gives you the shit. Oh, shut it up. Brandon said, mm, that's my baby. <laughs> 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 That's you. She's she like, yeah. Oh, she like bro. hood. She she ghetto. Like, yeah. Hell yeah. Mm. I think the most All that money, but still. singer I ever seen was Monica. Oh, Monica. I was going to say it. <laughs> Monica's hood. You don't say Monica, I'm cutting his ass off. <laughs> Monica. Yeah. Monica was hood. Yeah. And Monica drive around donks and shit. Yes. Yes. And Mary C. Merck. Yes. That's true. <laughs> like, just... That's true. <laughs> Monica. Monica. <laughs> and donks, Mary C. Merck. She was the hoodest R&B singer. Then when she was singing, you'd be like, oh, oh my God. God. Okay. Yeah. I just saw you pass that nigga strap. All right. <laughs> when she leaves, she's like, I'm out, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> out that beast. You okay? My ear. You losing your ears? Yeah. Okay. Is that what was hurting you? No. Okay. My, it's just the headphones is messing with it. Okay. To keep oh, falling off. That's cool. All right. <laughs> so, what do we got? What else we got in the news today, Brandon? Hold on, I have to go for Fat Joe. Okay. Fat Joe going to win, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I mean, Mary yeah, J. Yeah. Blige. That's going to be fun. Mary J. I couldn't. <coughs> Mary, Mary, Mary J. J is like mama to me. She, nah, she just had too much trauma now. Yeah. She said she like, tired of people calling her auntie. Too, 
Y'all didn't hear that? No, I'm no. sure. She did. Listen, I knew. Why would you not be auntie? No, she said it. Like she, she was like, you know, I understand. Like y'all look, I appreciate y'all look up to me. You know what I'm saying? But like, I am not that old. Like, I'm not like y'all need to stop. You are definitely auntie, auntie age. You are That's definitely auntie age. Said. Yeah, yeah. Like, she no really way. said that. Yeah. You are definitely auntie age. Even if it doesn't matter. Like, like her age. You now. you have auntie mannerisms. <laughs> you know what I mean? She don't have, she don't have kids, right? I don't know. I think that's probably why she got auntie. When you body. start the dance like this, is when auntie came. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I watched. Uh, what was it uh, Power Book? Uh, oh, when okay. she was on there. Yes, yeah, that I was. I think she's auntie doing vibes. good. <laughs> that was all auntie. That was auntie vibes. That was it. Yeah. My auntie vibe. She just needs to just accept it. Yeah, know? just embrace it's it. All good. It's embrace okay. it. Do it like, like Steve. Queen. Steve from Blues Clues. Just come on there and be like. What about Steve? Oh, no, no I got message? so emotional. Oh. That's what she needs to do with her auntieism. Is be on there. No, that's like, petty. I'll be I'll be all of the little boys and girls aunties that ain't got no aunties. I'll send you birthday cards with five dollars. Mm -hmm. I'll fucking send you Christmas cards. They pay for the winning. Yeah, but they need that's what she needs to be. I'll be I would feel like Black that America's too. auntie. What is she? She like in her forties? Like I, that's auntie age. But damn well, what about Steve? Yeah, that got that got First off caught me way off guard. Yeah. I was late to it. Like then when I finally saw it, I was like, he remembered this. Oh, <laughs> he yeah. came back. Oh shit! Hey, anybody born after '97, he was not talking. <coughs> no. He was not talking to you. He was not. Get out the comments. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know what the fuck we're going through. Right. Here's the okay. thing. I feel like I was too old for Steve. You were. Yeah. This like is, this is a us. This is y'all. This is a oh, us. Me, I, I turned 36 here. In okay. Yeah. That was a us thing. That was yeah. us. That was us. Well, like was when he emotional. came on there, yeah, I thought yeah. I wasn't emotional at all. I was like, "Oh, y'all ass don't went broke." Uh -huh. <laughs> that was the first thing that I said. You don't went broke, ain't you, Steve? Mm -hmm. No, nigga. Uh -huh. Steve I'm, went to college, okay? That, that don't mean he got a job. Thank you. He got him a damn up. good job, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's doing fine. And he's doing just fine. <laughs> What did he go to college for? Did anybody look it up? Damn, I forgot. Mm -hmm. I, I, something what did that nigga went for like art? <laughs> I was fucking out. Oh, Steve. <laughs> I drew so many pictures of Blue's Clues, I thought I had some time. Right. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. <laughs> He's a veterinarian. <laughs> nah. I went to school would be a vet tech to fix Blue. <laughs> <laughs> we will fuck with that. Damn. We will fuck with that. If he had said that on the, on oh, the video, yeah. I had to leave, guys. I wanted to go be a vet. And you know, I want to help dogs like Blue. All of them were like, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, God damn. You should have did that, Steve. You fucking you missed that. You should have. Oh, my goodness. That would have so, been perfect. All I was waiting on was in the bottom in the bottom corner for like Blue. To pop I mean, why up. Blue didn't pop up though? Like, just Bro, man, in the middle. Oh, you man in them. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Right. How they gonna just go to show Steve? Blue is piss blue. all over that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting on them just to pop up to them. That's all I needed. I don't know why they didn't do that. They did a whole they great. All, well, all three of them. Yeah, I watched all those. I was yeah, like, what is this shit really about? You know. I didn't, I didn't watch the other one. After after Steve left, I was like, uh-uh. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not, not fucking for. with his cousin. Not at right, all. Right, right, right. I'm, I'm not, not fucking, fucking with his cousin, cousin. at all. Which well, yeah. I thought it was his brother. No, it, it was, was his cousin. cousin. Yeah. yeah, I ain't even let him down. Just watch it. We don't. We don't fuck with him. We don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. Yeah. He said he wouldn't let the son watch it. Hell no. This ain't the nigga that needs to teach. This ain't the one. I'll go on YouTube and find old episodes. Right. Hell Facts. Yeah. That's what I'm going to yeah. do when I have kids. Oh, I'm going I'm to play oh, nothing but little like Bill? black. Remember Little Bill? Little Bill. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be hard playlist. to find a Little Bill. He's still. on YouTube. I have a playlist of just. Little Bill's uh, ball yeah. still. What was the uh, Sea Bear and Jamal? Oh. Did you remember Sea Bear? Tone Loke was the teddy bear with the Loke on. Hold on. You got to show me the that. The little okay. stuffed animal. Right, you know the little stuffed animal, but he was a, like a little gangsta ass bear that wore, oh, this wore was, lopes. This is real like, niggas. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> I have to watch it because I watched like all the old stuff. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can. It's a cartoon? Hell yeah. It oh, is. Okay, I remember yeah. him. See Bear and Jamal. I didn't watch him too much, though. I ain't got a lot of uh, y'all. I was, I was watching Sesame Street. I was watching Baby's Kids. I was, Baby's Kids. The same people. My same daddy animators. was keeping me away from all of that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't watch none of that, that shit until I got like a little bit older and I ain't gonna watch I think it. My, yeah. I think my auntie was experimenting with me. Yeah. She would put on like Baby's Kids and then Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. <laughs> so just, wow. Yeah, like which one does he fuck with? Yeah. Now we're gonna turn on Howard Stern. <laughs> <laughs> Let's what about, just figure out what happens to him. Yo, what about that um that that guy who paints? What's Bob name? Ross. Yeah, did y'all watch him? Oh, of course. I that was mine. That was mine. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Ross. Yep. He's on Netflix. Kids right will now. never understand. Yeah. He's on my list in Netflix right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see him. <laughs> yeah. They got a documentary about him. Oh wow. They oh, do. Yes. I like Bob. Yeah. He was bro. We gonna paint a little. A little a little tree right here. I feel like he's he's the one that, that should have oh, really started. Movie. What is it? ASRs? Uh, no, yeah, is it ASR? Yeah. ASR, ASR or something? Yeah. I don't know. I know what you're talking about. I feel like because you know his you know, voice was so soothing. I hope you messed up a little bit, and but that's okay. The, yeah, it was just so up. he was so yeah. soothing, I'm right? Clouds. I'm gonna do a cloud here for me. Oh my god, I like the way you sound. You just soothed me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you was shit who though. Makes us who they had paintings. Yeah. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we use the paint app in the VR. Have you used that yet? They got no. a graffiti app in virtual reality. I got a big virtual reality set in there. But yeah. Shit. But yeah, you can do all kind of. You can like paint in midair and make three mm. D drawings that you have to walk through to fully. Oh, that's dope. Oh yeah. That sounds oh, dope. Yeah. I just had three ideas pop in my head. That it's like, bro. It's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why I smoke cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. so I do want to talk about the chant though. The chant that we saw at the college football game. Okay. Like I think most of them were Southern uh, college football games, yeah, but they SEC. were chanting "fuck Joe Biden" yeah. in a very rhythmic way, and it was a lot of them a part of it. Yeah. Like, and I don't know why, but I just think it's like it's kind of like not concerning but alarming. You know what I mean? Well, like, they've got a movement just like we have a movement, just like that. Like, you know, Joe hasn't done a great job, but Joe really ain't done nothing. Sorry. Yeah, right. you know, like. What has he really done, you know? He really ain't done nothing. You know, yeah, he pulled some troops from Afghanistan, but at the same time, they were already planning to pull those troops. Mm -hmm. So there's that, that they're just, you know, they're making sure they fling that mud on them. And I'm not just like pro Joe, but I'm enjoying the vacation of not president drama. Every yeah. time I turn on the TV, Fires. every time I look, it's on about it. some other shit. Yes, I'm. I'm yeah. so glad I don't have to fucking. I do need him to stop falling asleep though. That's that's. Amazing. I don't give a fuck, Sleepy Joe, baby. That's he really amazing. falling asleep. Oh man, though. he got clips. Dude. I He's seen that, but I was like, is he really sleeping? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. He's falling asleep dead. Like, start He's talking like... to me. <laughs> 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 Exactly. Exactly. I don't even have a sound for that over here. <laughs> and what we're going to do with the unity between our two countries is, you know, hopefully we'll come together and and we can get some things done. And, and we've been doing some, some talks. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine the guy, the guy in, the, in the earpiece? Joe. 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 Joseph. Uh -huh. Joseph. <laughs> Michelle Obama, huh? <laughs> 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 Open one eye, like. <laughs> Open one eye. <laughs> 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 oh, you're crazy. Mm -hmm. You almost got me. <laughs> 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 <Wow>. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, though. You know, you gotta use some key words for me. You know? <laughs> Michelle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 What, what, the the biggest Michelle Obama fan is George W. Though. Oh, George, have you ever seen that? Yes, like I don't know. It's something he like. He's so happy. Yeah, he's like very. He loves it. He, he loves it. He loves. If there, if you guys wanted to post anything about you want a relationship, you see people like, oh, I want the Joker Harley Quinn relationship. Man, Joker used to beat the shit out of Harley Quinn. First off, right. That was you a want toxic the George W. Bush. You want your man to look at you like, like George Bush looks at Michelle. Michelle. Yes. That's wild. <laughs> that man. Yes. He's like, yes. <laughs> what is that candy? It's chocolate. What is that candy? Say candy? <laughs> look at this. This is He's so happy. pure bliss. He's so happy. This is pure bliss. He thinks about it at night. 
I want that look. He definitely wanted some chocolate. <laughs> oh my, he is so happy. Look at he reaching. Look, he's he, he, he leaning over. Like he done passed Trump and a, a Barack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, and he know like, what's going on too. He he like, like, look, look at look at that. Look, they they plotting, boy. Look at, <laughs> look at his wife's face. Look at his wife's face. Mm -hmm. You buy your because I bet you he I bet you he's open about it. Oh God, yes. There's no way. Oh God, yes. What's she gonna do? Leave him? Yeah, right. Hell no. He walking around yeah, the house thinking about that. Look at this. Look, look, wait, 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 oh, I don't, look at this. And look at Obama though. <coughs> oh, Obama know George ain't about to get that. George ain't about to get that. They, they probably like, laughing. You can look, you can look, but you can't touch. Look at Barbara. Barbara is just like, <laughs> what the hell happened? She's like, what the hell happened? This is how they look at John McCain's funeral. <laughs> oh, God. They had a funeral. I love you. Yeah. Oh, I am so glad to see that you man, again. That man leaned over. Shit. Trump Look at this shit. Obama. This, this yeah. is, that's the type yeah. of love I want. And, and why she got the face like, yep, got it. Yeah. <laughs> she, she already, already knows. Uh, Where can I find that love at? I know. That's America. That's what America <laughs> need to be right there. That's my with King drink. Yes, that's that it. That is gold. Right there. Just <laughs> God. That is the dream come true right there. It now. is. That's <laughs> that's pure unity. That's a Democrat and a Republican. Black, white, white man, woman, woman like, everything has come together. <laughs> there's no unity. Look at that. Look at Oh my God. And there's just so many pictures of it. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, they so definitely right. have that oh, little relationship. Oh, like that his entire presence. Oh, my God. And they ain't got no lips. <laughs> ain't got no lips. Not at all. <laughs> and she cutting her eyes like she looking over at Obama like, look at this shit. <laughs> I got him. Yes. Yeah. You know, what you're doing, she's looking at Barbara. Yeah. Look at, look at this. Look at this shit. <laughs> Cozy. They make me happy. <laughs> They're not even a couple. Okay? Like I'm watching them and I'm like, oh, that's 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 the love I want. Oh that's, I should print that picture and put it they on my mirror. <laughs> put it on my mirror. Have I you ever had love know. like that? I don't know. That's what I'm See, saying. Exactly. You that's what know. I'm saying. You would know. It's ridiculous. Like, why don't you look at me like George right. Bush? <laughs> I want to be, be Michelle you have, to your George. Right, you have to specify how George Bush looks at Michelle Obama. Yeah. Because I don't see him looking at his wife. Look, look at that. I don't see him looking at her. his wife. He ain't worried about her. Yeah. He push her ass to the side when he see Michelle. Yes. Oh, mm. Barbara, let go. <laughs> Barbara, let go. Hell no. Come over Barbara, here. Come over here. Hey. 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 You know the routine. <laughs> it, looked, it looked like in in that one right there they just got done saying hey sweetie bye hey smooches, smooches. Uh, oh my goodness and oh. then got damn he looked at barber like nah. <laughs> yeah mm. you don't smell like cocoa butter right right <laughs> you're stupid this is, it's the difference between ordering a milkshake at a fast food restaurant and ordering a diet coke you yep. know what i mean yes, <laughs> it yes it is so that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is man yeah. So that's a relationship we should all strive for. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Love me like George. So, <laughs> so yeah, they were chanting <laughs> "fuck Biden" at all these SEC games. I really feel like maybe it was something that was put together by um, maybe like some college Facebook groups or something, some conservative mm -hmm. college Facebook groups and stuff. But do I think we're at a "fuck Biden" stage? I don't feel like we're there yet, mm -hmm. especially from the shit we didn't come from. Right. I agree. Yeah. Give him some time, I guess. You know. Yeah, then maybe he'll earn that fuck Biden chant, but I don't think he's earned it just yet. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, like yeah, gas prices are high, but that's because they 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 didn't do that uh, pipeline that's mm -hmm. retaliation. That's business. Mm -hmm. so, True. But yeah. my my thoughts on on the whole if it's better with Trump or with Biden or whatever, I feel like neither one of them have fixed lies for like us you know no. what i mean like, so no. like our shit has never changed you're yeah, right so i'm just like uh we good. could unplug what, why what yeah all right okay we could unplug from the news all the way and niggas just watch shows like this or 85 south or or 65 south show you know just watch shows like that and not notice a difference in anything because right. our lives never change 
because of this shit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, well, I remember when I re received my first like stimulus check. That was back in Bush, and I was like, "The fuck is this? Three hundred dollars? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. should I, I call my mom? Should I cash this? <laughs> you know, I didn't know if it was a loan scam or anything." What they sent us some stimulus check out? They sent they us. Really I, I think it was like for homeowners. Mm. It was some sort of like tax cut where mm. you where you'd been paid so much in, so they were kicking it. And don't quote me on that. I don't remember. I was I was a lot younger. Mm -hmm. So I know I got three hundred. Yeah, I know. I remember the amount. <laughs> it was three hundred dollars. So, man, I did, and nothing ever changes for us. Yeah, I think that. But truly, I think that the the first time we'll actually be affected by like shit that's going on at the top right. is, is when he was talking about like the mandates for the federal workers. Right, right. Because the federal workers are just normal motherfuckers. Right. Like, so I think that's the only thing that would actually make our lives like. Think about this. Like, right, right, right. Everything else, I just. I it's a lot of people off. that plan on quitting their jobs, man. Oh, uh, this hospital in in New York has to stop delivering babies. Oh wow! Because they they don't have enough people to do it. Yeah. They, just, they don't have. Like, they did like a mandate on healthcare workers that have to get the vaccine. In New York? Yeah, oh just, yeah, they started. I saw that in Washington. Yeah. Yeah, and so many people resigned immediately. They were like, they're about to do it here. But you know what? I need to. They're about to do I'm it here. Vaccinated, my nigga. I need to go ahead and give me a little quick doctrine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Slide in there. Hey, they gonna need help so bad. They gonna fast track that. Hell yeah, they're gonna be like, oh, I became a doctor in three years, my nigga. Like, I became a doctor in two. Yeah, I became a doctor before forty. <laughs> Started at thirty six. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was talking about thirty nine. Yeah, uh, we delivering baby slice from Crisco on that pussy. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's coming out, y'all. There it is. <laughs> they gonna put you in a journal for coming with this genius new one. <laughs> right? It's gonna be niggas shooting music videos while babies is coming out. You know what I mean? <laughs> now look at this baby. <laughs> now look at this baby. <laughs> now look at this baby. You know what I mean? They gonna have that motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Diamond study scissors, I'm gonna cut the cord. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you dance on TikTok. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Man. Yo, TikTok last year, I'm seeing the results of that. Right. Everybody has rhythm. Everybody can dance. No, everybody can follow instructions. Dancing, right. They can follow instructions. No, but it has taught them rhythm. Yeah. The following the instructions taught them, oh, that's the part of the beat on this. Oh. That? Oh! Oh! Right. oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, my God. So now everybody can just dance. Everybody can just bust out a bust move. Don't, don't, don't make me. Don't. Right, right, right. At a soccer field. Katie! Bust a move! What you, what you want to do? You're right. You wanna... <laughs> I'm learning off TikTok. <laughs> Yeah. That shit is crazy to me, man. Yeah. I see so many videos of just random people dancing. A grandpa was getting down. Wow. So like I was like, this, this there's no logical way that you should know how to bop. Yeah. You right. should not know. It definitely took dancing to like a different level. Yeah. I swear to God. It was crazy. It's definitely. I'm I'm different. seeing the, the effects already. I was just at a, <laughs> I was at a birthday party earlier today and the the granddad and the cousins and the uncles could do the same dance as the six year old. Yep. Everybody could do it. Mm -hmm. Everybody could shoot. Yeah. Right. Everybody to shoot. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> my God, damn it. Oh, no. Wow. So, what are we going to do next week? Uh, what are we going to look forward to next week? Let's, next week. let's talk about... Uh, let's, let's, let's bring a health care. Let's find somebody in health care. Let's yell that pussy. Well, all right. Uh, <laughs> 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 let's definitely talk about uh like the healthcare situation. Let's find some people that uh mm -hmm. you know want to want to go ahead and speak really, on. Yes. Bring some facts. Yeah. We need a doctor. We're gonna duck a doctor. I still wanna get Chandler mm -hmm. Anderson. You and him gonna bump heads so bad. Alright, cool. All as long right, as he's cool. fine afterwards, like don't Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like don't yeah. be to talk about what? Hey, it's it's called called a few medical, stuff. like rapid yeah. care COVID. medical places. Yeah. yeah, but just to talk, like I like to hear facts because those people are ground zero. They're not the media. They're not anything. They're in that shit all but day. All they know is COVID's killing people. Yeah, 
and and what they've received to to try and help them. You know what I mean? Like, what's in that infusion bag? The IV infusion. You know, mm. I don't know anything about it, but I know everyone that gets COVID is getting the infusion bag. You know, they're like, oh, this will alleviate the symptoms, and it helps. So I don't know what that's what all. What infusion about. bag? It's an IV. You get, we get COVID, and it it keeps something from attacking your blood. Is it your bloodstream? Do you know? Oh, I didn't take um, that. Jasmine got it. Oh wow. Yeah, it's, it's the treatment. They, it's an actual treatment they have for COVID. People say there's no treatment for COVID, but there is now. We have so I there's, posted. There's, I, been, there's been a treatment. It's called what type of I know, but what, well, what type of treatment is this? What do you mean? It's just how is I feel like that's the infusion bags are just like to like keep them hydrated or no, like, it's something in it though, and it's not my job to know because I'm a podcaster and not. A doctor, mm-hmm. but we need a doctor. Me, yeah, we need a doctor or a healthcare worker. Me personally, I just don't really trust any of this shit. Like, so I have COVID. You're not doing the vaccine thing. Me personally, no, I'm not. Yeah. You know, I just feel like, um, you know, like me personally, like with the flu shot, I didn't really get the flu shot. I remember getting the flu shot when I was younger, and I got the flu the very next day. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's just like, like yep, fuck this. I was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I, I don't really do that. I just we don't know what the fuck they're putting in that stuff. We don't know what they put in a lot of stuff. I understand we don't, you know, know what we're eating, the stuff that you know what I'm saying. But I just don't. I've heard I've heard too many things. Like people are actually catching, you know, like like people are dying from it. You know what I'm saying? And then there's people, and, and then the people that are getting sick. Or getting these weird symptoms like going paralyzed or whatever. Like the palsy. doctors, yeah, Bell's Bell's palsy, all that shit. Like they have no reason for it. These doctors have no reason. Like they're they're like, well, we're not sure if it was it was well, you know the, the way they, vaccine. They you know, engineered like, these vaccines. This is a one size fits all. You have to remember that whenever you think about vaccines. So this is this they had, they didn't get your information your right, medical and find and, something that fits me right exactly. so when you take that vaccine you're doing a one size fit all mm-hmm. so there there is gonna be and that's with any vaccine there's gonna be people with bad reactions what I did I waited till half my family got it and I asked them which one they got and they all said Pfizer right so nobody had a reaction so I was like fuck it okay. We can fit in these jeans. Right. That was me. Yeah. Letting them be test subjects, mm-hmm. which maybe ain't right, but that's what I did. <laughs> I mean, I've had family members take it and stuff, you know, and yeah. teach us on, you know, like, mm-hmm. but I'm just like, I'm a little nervous by, by my family taking it. Like, who's to know, like, how their body's going to react to it, you know? Right. Like, I just don't want to be one of those odds, you know? Like, we don't know what the fuck they're trying to give. And then look at when they, look how fast they came up with this shit, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just it's just a little weird. A lot of shit that's going on, and then they coming up with all these different viruses: Delta, fucking mu, variants, yeah. mu, mu, whatever. You know, like it's mm-hmm. just like I don't know what the fuck is going on. I, COVID. When I got COVID, um, I went to the doctor to get. I knew something was wrong. You know what I'm saying? And um, I went to the doctor. I, I already knew like I kind of had COVID. Like they took forever. But they took they took my test and then they put me they they was like well, we're gonna put you in a room they're gonna try to put me in a room with a whole bunch of people who have respiratory problems COVID people you know I was like damn what if it I was don't a have room COVID full of people? it was just a little room that's what they was doing at the hospital which hospital Murray they stuck me on the whole floor mm-hmm. I was locked in a room by myself it was like um it's gonna the the results will take an hour and then we don't but we can't tell you the results until we put you in a room I'm like man as soon as I went in I'm like nah I gotta go like I left. You know, I signed the paper mm-hmm. and I left. I called the next day for medical records and they told me that was positive. And I just yeah. waited that shit out at the house, you know, like pray to God. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I, I mostly prayed that I didn't infect my family members because that's all I was really worried about. Right. was like getting anybody else sick, you know. Yeah. But I just pray to God and just stay hydrated, you know, like and Get just kick that shit and got sun. That's what I did. I would mm-hmm. wake up every morning and take a... A nice hot shower, go outside in the sun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the sun is the natural healer. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, definitely. you definitely got to get out and like I'm push yourself. Street. You can't let that shit beat you, you know? The sun. Brandon, do you believe in the sun? Do I believe in the sun? Uh-huh. Good. Okay. Yeah. You know, some yeah, yeah. niggas we kick away don't believe in outer space. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe in outer space. Yeah, I don't believe in outer space. I believe in the sun, though. You can't you can't believe in one without. That's like, I don't believe in Superman, but I definitely believe in Krypton. Right. Is that what you're saying? That is what you believe. No. Am I hearing this right? No, there's a sun and there's a moon. Right. But I don't believe there's an outer space. You don't think there's a space? No, because it's a firmament. Are you a flat earther now? 
it's a firmament. But are you a flat earther? I don't think I'm a flat earther because I don't subscribe to the shit that I be hearing them say either. Like the mm. way that they try to explain Earth being flat is not. I mean, there's pictures smart. of Earth not being flat. Right. Like, yeah, but I know there's a firmament. So, so I don't. So we're Saturn. Earth. You don't believe in Saturn and all that. Jupiter? I think it's within the firmament. Yeah, but like so you when you say outer space? space, like there's a, a extra another level. Like, there's galaxies. You don't believe. In you don't believe in that. Nah. But how? There's if we was to go up there, like we would die. When there's not oxygen, that's a whole. That's space. Mm, but I mean, if you were to go, that's space. To, if you were to go on top of a mountain on Earth, you could still die. You know what I'm saying? I like, mean, it's just thin air. Can you? Can you die on that? Yeah, it does. Yeah, the but it just really depends on like the. But it depends on the oxygen. You know, what I mean? <coughs> out of space, yeah. there's no oxygen at I all. I think there's one universe. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I got universe. Star Wars shirt on too. <laughs> 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 so, oh, that's but I, I think that there's one universe, and then above that universe is there's a firmament, and then there's a whole different realm. So when you say you think it's one universe, like you don't think there's like different dimensions? No. Really? No, no, no. There's definitely there's two dimensions. It's the spiritual and the physical. Those are different realms, dimensions. But I don't think that there's like, like another planet with like like you can go to another universe. Portal guns. Oh, you don't yeah. think you could go to another universe? No, no. I don't know. We don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So what do you think? They just Photoshop pictures? Uh, I don't think <laughs> right. there's any pictures of other universes. Yes, there there's, there's other galaxies. Mars? Oh, okay. Mars? Yeah, cool. and Mars is a planet. That's in our universe. Is it there's in not, our universe? It's not like. No. I don't, I don't believe it. I, be, I definitely believe I'm a very spiritual person. Yeah. And all that shit has to do with. Let me do satellite images. All right. But yeah, I, I believe that we are in the firmament. That the waters were divided, the dry lands came. And you do know what the, the, the stars are, right? Yeah, do you? Yeah. What are they? They are other suns, bro. They're, they're other galaxies. They're other suns. That's, that's, what they're that's what they have told us. That's what they have told us. Now, what do you think they are? Um, honestly, they're just stars. They're just light. You think There's it's like just light? But the water. sun is a star. Yeah. Then it's that's the light sun. to those other galaxies. N no. No? You no, don't, don't think, think so? so. <laughs> think so. Yeah. 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 It's like, no, I just don't believe it. Like, it's just, <laughs> just not enough logic. It's just us it. and that's... Like, because the thing to remember, like, the what they taught us mm -hmm. are theories. Mm -hmm. So... So you don't believe in aliens? Yeah. Definitely. How the fuck? Definitely. Do you believe in aliens and not out of space? Because I know how they got here. So I know what we call aliens are really just fallen angels. But oh, so you think aliens, aliens are angels? They're the fallen. Like, like I, can, I can completely connect all of this, but we're going to go. That's on interesting. Way. But it's true. But I don't know. It's interesting. It's I've, never, I've never heard of it. Like, really. Fallen. Like, when you uh, see. In Egypt, how they have the uh, the Anunnaki story of the, the the giants that came and taught them technology, and those are the aliens. That's written about already. Those are fallen angels. There was two hundred and twenty of them. They came down. They taught man all all the secrets, and then we were able to build extraordinary. So then aliens. you don't believe in aliens. Then you believe in angels, mm -hmm. not aliens. You don't mm -hmm. believe in like this. Well, no, I mean with the name species. alien. Uh, alien is something that is foreign. Yeah, I mean, so it is an alien by definition, but I just know what it is. So there's still an alien. Fifteen thousand galaxies in this one image. Yeah, I see. No. You don't believe that? You don't believe that? This is Photoshop. I definitely believe that. I, I don't believe that. Okay. <laughs> so seeing it's not believing. Right. I, in person, it is. I mean, I'm sure that if you ask, they might shoot your ass up there. No, but I would definitely you're not coming back. That's a one-way no, trip. <laughs> no. Yeah, see, I don't. But then I, I need more than I, I, I need something that's some 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 real logic behind it. Like I just need, oh, you need like, logic. Yeah. I'm a logical person. So I mean, yeah. I know I, all the stuff I'm talking about sounds like is out there, but right. I'm such a logical person where I can completely like. Have you ever been to Idaho? Oh. Do you believe it's real? 
Idaho? I do. Okay. What about right. Idaho? <laughs> what about Because Idaho? seeing is believing. He's never seen Idaho, so is it real? Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. I met people from from Wyoming. I've never been to Wyoming, but... I mean, there's people that's been to space, Wyoming. too. I've not met them. I don't know. I mean, talked to them. And that space, like, when I say I don't believe in space, you're thinking the, the, the space between us and Mercury. Like, yes, I believe that is space. That's outer space. That's outer space. The outer space that, the way that y'all are thinking about it from the, the galaxies, mm -hmm. no, I don't believe that. Okay. But the that space from us to Mars, yes, I believe that there are planets there okay. and everything. Yeah, but I don't think that. There's it, like world, like life yeah. out there? No. You don't think there's life anywhere else? No. No. Mm -mm. Those are all just theories and I, once again, once I realized that the theory of evolution was not real and it actually had nothing to do with my black ass, right. that's when I just like, all right, so if it's a theory, it's not proven yet. It's just them saying, right. like, we have all this stuff to make us think this. But everything yeah. starts out as a theory. But everything. It, but when you prove it is when you got my attention. <laughs> that's, my, that's my only thing. But I don't believe in like the, I love Rick and Morty though. I love the concept of infinite galaxies with parallel universe. I love the thought of it. Right. But there's not enough. No, I don't believe in parallel universes and stuff. That's not my thing. I think there's the multiverse type shit. Yeah. There's another me and another universe doing something totally the different. Only the only thing that makes me even entertain that idea is when you dream. You know how many mm -hmm. times I've dreamed of alternate versions of me doing alternate versions of things? And then years later, revisited that same situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only thing that makes me even entertain that idea. But, no, I don't think there's like, we're not making a portal gun and jumping. <laughs> it ain't none of that. Uh. Me, with, with this information and this stuff going on, I just, I can't shut it down as a definite no. Anything's possible. Right. I don't want to shut my mind down to not be able to accept information because yeah. everything changes. They just came out with a stick of RAM that's 512 gigabytes, okay? They took, when they released this article, they took all the top tech people and put their statements of how like, oh, there's, there's never going to be a, a use for anything past a one gig stick of RAM. You know, this is shit from like Bill Gates and shit, you know. Oh, there's never going to be a use for anything faster than 512 megabytes in a stick of RAM. Now they have 512 gigabytes Samsung just coming, which I know is like speaking French about technology. No, I get it. But like when you've got these top people that are like, oh, we can never, you know, we'll never fill this up or we'll never, there's never a use for anything. And then bam, here it is today. But and these were the but top is people. Is use for it though? Yeah, they're sticking it in supercomputers. I see. That, that's, nah. Is it a use? It'll be. It'll like, be. Yeah. Sometimes you just listen to the niggas that said there's no use for anything over one gig. Like, because now we have 512. What the fuck are you going to use this for? I mean, this one has 32 gig. gigs, and I still, I still need more. But 512 for a supercomputer. If I could steal 512, it would be got, bro. <laughs> that shit will be got, and it'll be in this computer. Okay? If I can find it laying on somebody's desk somewhere, I'll risk it all. Freedom and all. <laughs> Five, 512 gigs? A RAM? My text people. <laughs> 512 gigs of RAM. Tell them that's worth stealing. That's you gonna hit a lick. A lick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can sell I can sell that stick of RAM. Probably mother I can get to your house. <laughs> yeah. Like that. Yeah. In that case, I'm stealing. <laughs> right. Still, it's, do you need to, do you need to use it though? Like that's the thing. Like you're such a tech guy to where you just are excited by the idea of tech. Yeah. And I'm excited by the idea of tech, but I'm also like, what the fuck are we using this for? Like, tech, like, what do we need this technology for? Right. Like, I'm not. I, I just feel like you have to think about the flip side of the coin. The pendulum always swings back. So but I'm like, all right, we have this stuff that all the top tech guys said we'll never need, but we got it. Do we need it? No, you're just gonna put it in a supercomputer. What the fuck is that gonna do? <laughs> Here's, <laughs> oh, the shit. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. At some point in time, we have already crossed over a threshold where technology could kill us. Like, 
if we wanted, like, if they wanted to use technology to wreck shit, we wait, we're 20 years past that. They could have been wrecked shit. So you have to have faith. In that, what? That they're not going to do this. No. What the, yes. that's your, your faith is in the entire opposite thing my faith is in. Like, but that, they've already, <laughs> they've already could do it. It already could be done. They could already release They already something. do it. Yeah. They do it. They're called drones. <laughs> like, like, no, my faith is, is in the fact that, all right, y'all going to do some shit that's going to completely fuck up the entire world, but I'm going to be all right anyways after this. So you can fuck it all up and I might die in the midst because you're building robots that can run like super soldiers. They've already and done got to fuck up the world. Though. Exactly. So that's why I'm like, y'all just keep on going down this, down this road. Okay, I'm glad I'm, I have salvation uh, waiting on me on, on my side of shit. But on the flip side, I'm giving no faith in y'all that know that you're going to hit the brick. Like, there's no, I have no faith at all that man is going to be able to check himself and say, we've gone far enough. Oh, no, no. Like, like, at I'm all. not saying that. Like, but you have, you have 512 gigs of RAM that Bill Gates in one stick. said we don't fucking need. And I, <coughs> I almost have faith that this supercomputer that you made this for. Oh, we no, need. they're going to be manufacturing, like, selling this thing. See, but it's it's made for supercomputers. Mm, yeah, that's oh, that's even scary. So this just this is to help you make your own supercomputer at your house. Yeah. Well, no, but yeah. <laughs> if you can afford it, you can buy it. It's capitalism. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> I'm glad I'm in this spaceship. Y'all are fucked down there on Earth. <laughs> Fuck. Screw. I'm trying to tell you. So, so we're here. a guy that got down, got a, a, a good grant from his college and didn't spend his money can just go buy this, this stick of RAM now. And regardless of whatever his life experience is and whatever shit he has conjoled in his mind and his beliefs and shit, he could just have a supercomputer all and it, make shit that's out of the scope of any of the top tech guys. But all the RAM does. And he might be in Idaho. Oh, uh, okay. It, 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 <laughs> 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 But all the RAM does is make whatever he's doing go faster. So he's already got had a blueprint for his tech destroyer software. He's just going to make it go faster and uh, run more efficiently. Uh, so, you know. I think that's been the best hold up to, to the new world order, not having fast enough technology. I feel like if they was going to do it, they'd have did it. They they didn't have fast enough technology. They no, wanted to they, do. They, they wanted to do it when they made the Federal Reserve in in nineteen twenties, but they didn't have the technology to do it. And you don't feel and like now, they have the technology. They haven't had the technology for twenty years. You don't feel that way. Uh, no, that, I just I saw a robot that is a super soldier now. Like, I knew it <laughs> so now that I see that that is already a thing that's in the earth, <coughs> don't put the shit on the market that's gonna make this faster. Right, like, right. Like, that's the point where if I had faith in man to say, I'm going to tap the brakes now, right. it, it dissolved. Right. It is gone. Mm. So, so you tell me that robot can jump over boxes and carry a gun? Right. And you made two of them? Oh, fuck. We're screwed. Like, we're fucking screwed. <laughs> so I look at it. Have you ever seen Blade Runner? Yes. So Blade Runner, they enslaved all those robots. Like, I don't think they'll use those robots to replace us. Maybe enforce some things in law enforcement. You don't think they'll replace us? Fuck no. What we have self-checkout at Kroger's. Yeah. What do you mean replace us? Like they replaced them workers at Kroger's. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> they enslaved them robots. Okay. <laughs> Those robots are enslaved, nigga. Okay. They're, they're, they will be the new niggas. They, they'll be like Chappie. They're going to be fucking listening to rap and toting gats and all kind of shit. All right. That's still very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is. <laughs> what now? In my vision, I feel like a lot of. Like, you know, they say people don't want to fucking do these jobs anymore, these lowering jobs. Mm -hmm. I feel like those people will be replaced. I feel like... Yeah, that's going to happen in the future. Yeah, educated Cars people are going to live a flying, lavish life. Like, everything's going to be lavish and, like, everything's going to be just... That's what I feel. Tech, you know? And that's, that's, that is fake. They're probably going to figure out a way Where to keep I us living for longer. I don't know. Is you know that things get always in any form get worse before they get better. Yeah, when man tries to tamper right. with that, things. That yeah. always happens in any form. In a flower blooming, things get worse before they get better. Okay. 
So for us to get to the lavish part, I'm thinking about that 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 period of figuring out like, okay, that went too far. Let's not do that again. Right. <laughs> like, right. I'm thinking about that part. Mm. Right. That part of the worst before we know better part. Right. Because right now we're just like we can build this too, and then like they're just going full speed. Right. Then we gotta hit a wall, and then get out and like. All right, let's not go 120 miles per hour. So what right. you gonna, what you think is they're gonna enslave us? These, these fucking. I just, I think, think that a lot of people are just gonna die. I don't even think it's gonna make it to the slave part because we just love freedom too much. We we've seen uh, Martin Luther King and Nelson Mandela talk about it our whole life. So I think people are so in the freedom we won't even make it to the slave part. I think we'll just see like. Oh, well, you're just gonna replace all of us, and now these robots are gonna throw it. No, fuck that. Over my cold dead body, that type of shit. So then, Republican shit. <laughs> yo, and I think, <laughs> and I think we're gonna have to deal with that. And, like everybody that doesn't want to deal with robots and AI and that type of fight and some like Terminator shit. And then yeah, it might get better after the rebuild, but let's think about the <laughs> the goddamn shit that's gonna happen first. That's the right. part. Goddamn. Look, have you seen iRobot? All right, you seen you just said Chappie, right? Yeah. All it takes is one of them motherfuckers to get a, to get a, a, a little sense. Man, you know I have dream, <laughs> I have dreams too. Don't you have dreams? <laughs> 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 We're screwed because it's gonna, like I feel too. Like then the other robots that's collecting dust in the corner is like, huh? oh, you can feel me too. <laughs> 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 You know, oh my God! How did you How did you start the field, Chappie? I have a 512 gigabit RAM. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door to many things for me. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> but next week we're gonna get a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I guess the worst case scenario would be the Matrix. Oh, when they figure case. out the bodies are the oh yeah are the most powerful batteries. Then you're, then you're birthing batteries and shit. Just just a field of just batteries. Humans and that's probably the worst case. That's yes. 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 I mean, yeah. How likely is that though? Because they don't have so much control over us, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, you just be in a, a canister your whole life till you die. Yeah. Hopefully they make a better matrix than real life though. I wanna live if I gotta live in a canister. I want some balling ass shit in my matrix, okay? Do, do you think you got? I want everybody. I need to think I'm in a mansion. Yeah, <laughs> I want right. to be an NBA player having unprotected sex with multiple women. <laughs> do y'all think they came out with one of those things like where you could lay in and like, like basically like you don't age and you just sleep? Oh, it's cryo, cryo. I think. Do you think that that's real? Well, no, it's, no that's a thing. That's a real. It's thing. Michael Jackson did that. No. <laughs> he said Michael Jackson did that. Yes, he did. What do you mean? Michael Jackson was in a cryogenic chamber. What do you mean? Like, he just Tread, wanted to try it. Tread lightly here. Yeah. <laughs> he, just wanted, he just wanted to try it. He got in. Like, like, but that, it, that was like, fuck, when was that? He was Danger album. What was the Dangerous album? 90. I don't know. I have to look it up. So I'm that's sure a real thing. That. I'm not sure. I know that they have issues bringing people back. They were doing a study where they were going to... Uh, Using some sort of stem cell stuff, they were gonna put somebody else's head on a, somebody else's body, like through a surgery. I don't know how well that went. Did mm -hmm. you ever look into? I know we talked about that mm -hmm. season one, I but I never looked it for the finale. If mm -hmm. they can do that, then that's... you can live forever. They can put your head on. They ain't got all that's they got to freeze your head. Oh God, I don't look that. But you see, that's where they're gonna fuck up at. They they gonna, all this experiments and they doing. I hope like they don't come up like we don't die from a fucking up. What is that? Apoc Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Yeah. Like, I really hope that that does not happen. I hope I'm not here for that because I ain't going to be able <coughs> to do it, y'all. You ain't going to be able to do it? You think you'll get X'd out? You're not going to make it through the apocalypse? I don't want, want to. to. <laughs> Remember I told you, I, I was like, nigga, I don't want to run around and shoot zombies yeah, and all that. I'm not trying to die. I'm not trying to live in fear all that. Like, God, so, forgive me. I'm gonna have to off myself. I just told you, <laughs> the NBA player would have unprotected sex with multiple women. <laughs> He's walking over with a white flag. All right, okay. This yeah. Okay. Nah. Enough, enough. Just take me. Do you know how <laughs> reckless I'll be during an apocalypse? I will be that bad guy. Okay. You have to be. Reckless as shit. You have to be. I'm going to Brentwood and I'm fucking finding me a mansion. And if you and your family live there, you better move the fuck over. Yeah. 
You know, oh, it's gated. This is fucking perfect. <laughs> open the gate. You know what I mean? Open, open the fucking gate. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what it is. But we are over time. We got, we, uh, we got to cut it. All right, <laughs> guys. <laughs> thank you for joining us on the mothership. It's been the Who That Podcast. Uh, thank you, Days, the Don. Thank you for uh, <laughs> joining us. I had fun. Make sure y'all. Where can they follow. find you? Um, you guys can follow me on IG. Um, at Dej the Don, that's D-A-I-J underscore the Don, T-H-E-D-O-N. So y'all follow me. Bet. All right, uh, Pac, anything you want to say, man? Um, no, I'm good. I'm good. Next week, I'm going to try and line something up good for us, okay, y'all? Bet. All right, until next next week, y'all, stay blessed. Don't stress. Life is just a test. Period. Who that? Who that? Peace. <laughs> You're now rocking with DJ. Then up around. It's gotta be my imagination. I like it's in your face. You have like it's in your face. Like DJ Skinny. They not for rap. Let's go. Who they? 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 Greetings, earthlings, this is my introduction They say greatness doesn't come overnight, so I'm not rushing Spaced out swag, best believe I'm paper touching Super stupid flow, and you bitches can't tell them nothing UFO, uniquely flow